Hello, everybody, and welcome to your Secrets for Seekers video on Lozum. Now, this video is going to primarily focus on the Nightweaver role. I decided that while I was getting all the content for these video for this video, that I was going to split it up into three videos for each of the areas, Narud, Yesha, and Lozum. Because if I were to put all the content for Lozum alone together, we're looking around 15 to 20 minutes for a video. And I know you guys like your content being given to you more straightforward to the point. So I'm going to split them up based off of the two bosses per the areas, if there are two bosses, and the general stuff. So if you guys would like that, let me know now in the comment section. If you would prefer that I put it all in one video, I can still make one whole video for that. Just let me know down below. Now, how you're going to know that you got the Nightweaver is you're going to start off Lozum in this area called Morrow Parish. That is specifically how you're going to get the Nightweaver's roll. One of the key things that you need to pay attention when you're going to the Nightweaver is this lovely Nightweaver's web. You have five items that you can offer up to the Nightweaver's web to get separate items, like the Dryas Anklet, the... Ravenous Medallion, the Overdrive Pin, Colquette's Razor, and last but not least, the Nightweaver Stone Doll, which is arguably one of the most important ones that you should acquire. And I'll be going over in detail on how to acquire these items. The things you should know, though, is that the Override Pin is found in Narud, and Colquette's Razor is found in Yesha. Now, you're going to be trading in these items in order to acquire the Ring of Retribution from the Dryas Anklet. You'll be trading in the Ravenous Medallion to get the Decrepit Ruin. You'll be trading in the Override Pin to get the Tormented Heart. You'll be trading in Colquette's Razor in order to get the Nightweaver's Grudge. And lastly, you'll be trading in the Nightweaver's Stone Doll to acquire the Dreamcatcher, which is a very useful item for acquiring other, you know, secrets that we'll go over in another video. But just know you really should get that. Now let's show you how to get the Double Barrel and the Nightweaver Stone Doll for the Nightweaver's Web. Now, at the very beginning of this, we're going to start on the main floor, but if you guys want the code right away, it's 2971 for the safe. You can find it right there. But if you want to go through for the stone dolls, just follow my path here. You're going to go across the hall from where the safe is to find your first stone doll. You need to collect three of these in order for the Nightweaver stone doll to be acquired. Next, you're going to go out back or out front. I don't know whether this is their front yard or backyard. Both of them look like crap. They really need to take care of their lawn better. And you're going to find all the way in the far corner your second stone carved doll. Now, next, you're going to need to say hi to your new neighbor. His name's Ripsaw. He's a little bit more huggy, uh, but he seems to think your property is his. Behind him, you're going to find your long lost third floor key to the asylum. Now, you're going to go back in through that window you had to break in in order to see the house for the first time. Use the key on the top floor here. Finally, get in there to see what's going on. Run past all these guys that are just breaking into your house for a new reason. And follow this path. You'll go all the way to the end, and you will find the third and final stone carved doll. Try not to die here. Definitely didn't die here. While you're taking a tour through your house, might as well check out the balcony. Oh, hey, what's that? Well, if you go out here onto the balcony and take a look at it, you're going to find this weird German dungeon key. Actually, the prison cell key. And to cover it up, you're going to find a simulacrum. Don't worry about it. There's a simulacrum for you. You go down into your basement, you got a, clearly a spider issue. Uh, you go check in and you find out you still have a prisoner down here, it's weird. You give her her three dolls and she's going to sing you this lovely, lovely song. Now in this song you're going to hear this specific verse that's going to give you the code 2971. You got to remember that code for when you actually go back to see the safe and plug it in. See, see the safe like you're actually going to see the safe. Now, because you got that key, you can finally unlock the door and actually acquire the stone carved doll. If you don't unlock the cell, you're not going to get the doll. Now, once you're done with all of this, you go back up to the main floor right here. Go back into that room with the safe. Insert the code 297 and 1. And then you have your double barrel. While you're in the building, if you go back down to the basement and go into the first room on the right, you'll notice that there's a small hole in the back. You go through this hole into this locked off room and you will find the shock device. Now that we covered all of that, let's cover the alternate kill for the night weaver to get the nightshade. What you're going to want to do in this is bring a high damaging weapon and try to hit her only when she opens up her ribcage in what I like to call the spread eagle pose. 
you're going to be damaging her only during those phases, as you see right here, and trying to look for those red crits. It's going to be coming close to killing her, but uh, I've always had it happen like nearly before. She'll only start doing this though once you're at once you've knocked away 25% of her health at first, so you're going to have to damage her regardless. I recommend bringing a non-status weapon. I currently have a bleed build with me on this, and it actually made me nervous while making it. But when her heart does break, you'll see right there that she changed to a more dark, uh, shadowy, turquoise color. That's how you know that her heart is broken. What I highly recommend in this uh, second phase, though, is having the liquid escape with you. Because if she does get through her animations of regaining her heart and turning back to her gray and light blue coloration, that is really where you're going to be kind of stuck. You're not likely to be able to get her heart broken again. Apparently some people are saying that it is possible, but I have never succeeded at it. But that's my little walkthrough on how to acquire the Nightshade. Now on your run through, if you did happen to acquire the Tormented Heart and the Decrepit Rune, you can go to Namiwe and trade them in for the Tranquil Heart and the Runer Pistol, which is actually pretty darn good. And wrapping up this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support this past week. I have never seen the channel pick up so much, and you guys are really rocking it. Again, you're the ones that make this channel what it is. I'm just the guy that provides you the content. But... If you guys do want that full video of everything, all the secrets in Lozum in one video, same thing for Yesha and Narud, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll keep on working like this where I'll keep things shorter, sweeter, and I'm trying to try to stay away from the, you know, 20, 30 minute videos that I used to do. But make sure, you know, share the love, leave a like down below. If you guys are coming back or is coming around for the first time and you like this content, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, ring that bell if you want to be notified every single time these come out. I'll see y'all in the next one. I swear that I'll be fine, yeah. Looking for a sign, yeah. Always in my mind. I've been losing track of time. And I miss when I was nine, yeah. Everything was fine, yeah. Think I'll be alright. I just need you by my side. But I swear that I'll be fine, yeah. Looking for a sign, yeah. Always in my mind. I've been losing track of time.